The global reach of the Ukraine conflict that started last February has been extensive and revealing. An apparently local conflict has had far-reaching global implications on the just-in-time economy, policy, and the tested notions, even, of sustainability. There are lessons to be learned from this. Number one, the conflict quickly tested global, but especially Europe's energy security, access, and affordability. And it has made crystal clear that we need to accelerate affordable, clean, alternative energy sources. Number two, in order to sustain ambitions in clean energy, a fundamental rethink is required on how we source key strategic metals and minerals. Number three, without a systematic transformation of the global ecosystem, food inequality will worsen and it could place additional pressures on the already struggling healthcare services. And at least number four, the topic of capital allocation towards the defense sector came to the fore in March of last year following the invasion. While the market had reached a consensus on controversial weapons, views divided on the inclusion or exclusion of defense companies in sustainability-labeled funds based on military equipment and services or nuclear weapons inside or outside the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons, or the NPT. There are unintended consequences in the data capture for inside NPT and the distinctions between primary purpose and the core components in nuclear equipment. And after much analysis, we will look to further define our own approach on this matter soon. Number five, the energy crisis very swiftly turned ESG into a political hot topic and not for the first time that this has been a political topic but this time shows that it is not yet over. The sustained underinvestment in the global energy infrastructure, especially in Europe, was blamed on ESG and an out-of-touch climate agenda. Even if much of this was driven by political agendas instead of substance, ESG has had genuine questions to answer about how it was applied into investment decisions, and we recognize the demand for a modernized, robust, non-financial risk framework that can inform all investment strategies. We expect risk screening to migrate from non-specific aggregated ESNG scores to specific elements of idiosyncratic risk within ESNG. Number six, alongside testing ESG's resilience, the events of last year challenged the markets to consider the transition to green instead of focusing solely on being green. A more globally inclusive approach to real world impact and the future economic resilience is needed. And transition could be the cornerstone of this. So, if we have learned anything from the shocking events that started on February 24, 2022. It is that the world of ESG will become more refined in its economic and political logic going forward as countries and economic blocks ensure that their energy security is more closely defined to its climate ambitions.